What's up, people? We're here, we're here, and we are here for another episode of Horror with Search 30. And, um, <laughs> yeah, this one was, uh, fuck this movie. Well, there you go. Sorry for my language. Against all odds, Tupac, go check the song out after the episode. <clears throat> Link is in the description, as you guys know. But uh, against all odds, exploring bloodthirst. <clears throat> and what a fucking explanation this issue or exploration this one was. Man, man, I'm a I'm a fan of vampire movies, but fucking boring. Yes. Um, <sighs> go ahead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. One that pissed me off. Is I hate how in the middle of a sentence, the vampires would be talking and be like, I want to see the master. They're like, you can't see the master. And then they're like, ah. yeah, they're growling at each other like fucking morons. Just, yeah, I, I didn't like that stupid shit. I did it, not like it was that. so annoying. And some were dressed up like fucking monks like they had like uh sand gear on like they're in in the like in the desert oh, they were in the desert they were in the desert though yeah remember they were okay the semi okay i kind of they had goggles but then other people were wearing regular clothes like it was like a regular like um town. because so what it was like the vampires the ones that were like covered from head to toe when the sun was up that was the vampires and then the people of course they were the way they were but what really bothered me about this movie besides the fact that it sucked was like how, uh, how did I say it? they didn't explain shit for one. No, like shit just happened. You'd be in the middle of a conversation, and then they pretty much say what they're about to do, and then boom, next like two seconds later, it's just happening. There's yep, no yep. give you a perfect example of the scene where, um, remember where the girl it's the one girl that's driving a little red car. With the with the dude that was going to pick up his when they were going to get his motorcycle. Oh yep yep. So remember when they said there was the three vampires there? They fucking get out. Which here's another issue I have. But they get out. They pull their guns out and they're shooting at the vampires. You don't see any bullets. You don't see any bullet wound. You don't see anything. Not nothing, even any nothing. ricochet nothing. of bullets. Nothing. It wasn't in the budget. They couldn't afford the CGI. I guess not. I guess fucking you just not. heard sounds and I'm just moving her body like Ugh. but going on from that though that was one of those scenes where they were just like we gotta get out of here yeah remember, remember we gotta get out of here and then somehow they easily get to the car and it's it's just the next scene of them driving up to his motorcycle and like mm -hmm. what the fuck what in the actual fuck it doesn't even really show them getting in the car it shows them like walking towards it and then they're driving up to the motorcycle I'm like so there was there was no there was no like uh um there was no struggle, there was no fight. Those vampires were yeah. that because they weren't that far away. Yeah, they weren't that far away at all. That's that's what they were lacking too. No battles. The only thing that were the main battle was at the end. Other than that, the vampires just walk up talking to people, people are afraid. They're like, Oh, what are you gonna do? And then they just grab them, they were like, Ugh, and they just bite their neck. And okay. They're so hungry and thirsty that every time they bite their neck, they spit the blood out. Like half the blood gets poured out of their mouth. Yep. Which is just wasting it. But yeah, it's I a mean, waste. It's, I, I don't know. I don't. It I, should have the I, same rule as alcohol. Alcohol abuse. It should be blood abuse. The other vampire should be pissed. All right, but, you know um, what, jeans. You know what we got to do. Oh, rate right, this garbage. Yes. I want you to kick uh. this one off. This was trash, man. And I barely want to get this. Nope. Be, no, no, be I'm going to be honest. Okay, yeah. Oh, be one. nice. A one. <sighs> My turn. I was gonna I was gonna say two, but I can't. It sucks. A one. It does. <sighs> My turn. This fucking sucked. This is the worst horror movie, okay, that we've watched in the past, in my opinion. Well, according Long to Ray, time. yeah, since Jennifer's body, since Jennifer's body, and that was let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was ten episodes ago. 
And I Jennifer's body blows this one out of the water. I gave that a zero, and you gave that a two. So you giving this a one, rightfully so. Which means this movie is going to be a negative one. It was fucking horrible. It was like said, boring. It was horrible. mainly talking. And it's so confusing too. And I think that's the thing too. Is the talking? There's talking, multiple talking. masters. They keep talking about the master vampire. They show this one in a cave. The bald one, that right? We find out that, that we find out at the end that's the ultimate master. But I guess the leader of the vampire pack that's walking around is the master. So that it's, part was confusing. It, it was they're, just try, they're trying to gain. He's trying to gain an army to challenge the other master. He's the mm-hmm. apprentice, I guess. We found out at the end because they didn't tell you in the beginning. They, they don't tell you the shit. story in the beginning. They don't tell you shit at all. At all. And like you just go into the movie, like the movie just starts and shit's just going on. To- and I, I was hoping this would be decent. I was like, me too. Vampire movies usually, like even bad ones, are decent. This may be the worst vampire movie. I don't know. I can't guarantee. I but think this it is the honestly. worst vampire movie I've ever seen. I think I'd rather you- watch Twilight. Oh, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm not lying. Me too. <laughs> it's bad. Which we'll talk about it off air, but uh, you just fucking. Oh, wait, man. No, don't fuck with me here. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and there's the thing. They, they're they acting like this shit was good. They're making a part two. It's a part two coming soon. To find the ultimate fucking vampire. No, don't waste your money. Right? Yeah. Don't waste your money. Do not make it. It's like you're just burning money away. Your your two thousand dollars, whatever how much it costs to make this movie. You can't even get CGI to make uh, gunshot wounds, or even sparks of the gun. Anything ricocheting. You just hear this. Yeah, nothing. You just hear the sound effects. Listen, with the fucking guns in this movie, the way that they were portraying the guns and the shooting and all this shit, they were better off just going pew pew. Finger guns would have been better for this piece of shit. All right, all I was going to say about this, and we're talking about the private chat, James. I'm not going to read it out loud, but don't you think I'm you're not, right? You're probably right, but okay. still, we'll talk about it. <laughs> but um, back back to this to this to this movie. By the way, Road to CFF. That's what this is. Yeah. The act, okay, look, I'm gonna say this. I didn't even like the acting. Tara reads in this, horrible. Yeah. And the main she's actor, a great vampire. She's the queen vampire, I believe. Yeah. And she's just yelling at thing and growling. That's it. And and she looked at like they got that one old dude. He looks familiar. I've seen him in other stuff. The farmer looking dude that they bit. Oh, you. Yeah. And she's like, that- "Who are you?" And he's like. He's just sitting there on a tire or something, just looking at her. She's like, they, they need an army, but she's like, you, get out of here. And he's just walking down the road. <laughs> yep. But it made no sense. Like, why are you getting rid of... It It was freaking... It, it, was, it was stupid, so confusing. Man. It was bad. It fucking... It doesn't help how I feel about vampire movies. We've had this discussion so many freaking times where I say the ones that are like bloody and gory, which we're going to discuss like this 28 time. days later. And all yeah, that. I love that shit with them. I love that's the type I want to see. I was expecting that. I was hoping for that with this. We didn't get that. We didn't get anything near that. They might have well yeah. had cake through this whole fucking movie. I Too thought, this- especially the cover. The cover may look like it's going to be like Mad Max, but with vampires. It gave that feel ish, and it but horrible way. Yeah, it was fucking. Ugh. Like I said, there was it was mostly talking. There was hardly any battles, no fighting until the one the, at the end, and it was like a three minute fight. Yeah, and the main the vampire hunting, he's walking around like he's badass. He didn't do nothing. He had a little crossbow shooting arrows, and he had a cross. 
That's so okay. So they spent all their money. Okay, that's where the CGI went. All their money was when he shot his arrows into vampires. It was yeah, red like electricity. <laughs> they get electric. I think it's that's, that's how they die. That's what, that's that's how what they did. did. That's what did. It. That, yeah, that was that, that was their budget. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're probably freaking right too, man. Because that it's was so just fucking, it's sad. It was like, oh my god. And I hate saying I, this because I don't have the talent to do this shit, right? I like I give them props for doing it. Of course, of course, always, always props and respect for that. But what the fuck, man? Do you watch movies? Do you like? Did they ever watch a movie? Like I can't write or nothing, but I think I can come uh, come up with a better story and action scenes and everything in my head than they did. Yeah, it. Especially a vampire movie. It's not hard to make a vampire movie. It, 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 James. I want to see a good vampire movie. There's a lot <laughs> out there, man. I know. There's even the cheesy fairy tale ones. Like even Van Helsing was good. I liked Van Helsing, and that was like yeah. a um. Just the, oh no, Cherry like Script a tone, guys. like a toned down one. Yeah, really quick. If you guys want to donate, got a chance to right now. You don't have to. I'd love your that link in the description. Go and give that a good Sherry Sherry. You, donate that's, or not? You're doing that, doing that this Friday, right? Yep. Cast us for a cause. Charity script read this Friday, seven o'clock Eastern time, over on the scene snobs. It's going to be an amazing time. And guess what? It's Haunters Against Hate. That's what the charity's for. Against bullying and all that that stuff. And it helps kids and all this great, great stuff. So just saying. I'm just saying. Back to our regular schedule. Okay, real that. quick. with the Because you mentioned that. That's uh, just reminded me. During the week, you were like, hey. We'll, wanna, I was thinking about switching up and we'll watch Scream instead to review Scream. And I, I was so. like, and I was like, oh man, really? I was like, because I'm not a fan of Scream. Me either. And I was, I was like, all right, whatever. I'm down. I'll watch anything. Okay, whatever. But then you're like, you're like, unless you can, f- did you find the movie? And I was like, yeah, I found it. You're like, okay, we'll no, we'll stick to it. We'll watch that then. Yep. But now I'm like, fuck, we should have watched Scream. <laughs> I, 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 okay. I hate Scream. You guys know this. James does as well. Scream is way fucking better than this. And that's the nicest thing I've ever said about that movie. This is on record. This is on record. And I probably won't ever say this again. Scream is a way better fucking movie. The franchise, every single fucking movie in that franchise is better than this piece of shit movie that we watched tonight. And I'm changing my rating to a negative four. (laughs) With that said, you made me dude. It's sad to say because I'm not a I'm not a fan of Scream either, and I seen it before. And I usually like, I, oh, it's a new movie. I never seen Bloodthirst. I was like, no, I want to watch the new movie. But then I watched it. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, should've, we should have watched Scream. Yeah, because I was so bored, man. I mean, I yawned like 17 times. It was. I looked at my phone a lot, and it's been a while since I did that. It was it was it was a rough one, the man. It was it'll, a it'll, rough yeah. one. It was bad, and we watched some stupid shit. Oh yeah, all the time, all the time, and happily. But this, the thing with this one though was, it wasn't a fun, stupid. No, it wasn't. That's this what I'm saying. It was fun. boring. If it was fun and stupid, it'd be different. But it oh, was yeah. so boring, and it pissed me off at the end. I was like, finally, it's over. But then they did that whole fucking thing, the uh, the ultra vampire, whatever the fuck that thing is. Like, he's like, we're going to rule the world. Then it then it goes, bloodthirst too coming soon. I was like, for, I out loud, I was home by myself. I said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, no, oh, don't come out with that shit. Don't come out with that shit. Fuck you. The fuck you need to come out here for? Huh? Yeah, you don't need a part two. Get out of here. 
at, at all. And that, yeah, and the, going back, that, what was that, like the ultra, the ultimate vampires? I'm like, what the oh, fuck? Speaking How many that, I have, do you need? I have to How look it up. What do you need for this bullshit fucking movie? I got to see what the budget is. I hope they show it, and I got to see how much they uh, made. While you do that, I am going to share my screen for the casters for a cause thing just to show right. the site and all that good stuff. Talk about it a little bit more. So this Friday, we will be doing over on the scene snobs. We will be doing a charity event, charity script read, the movie Scream that we were just talking about that's way better than this movie. I'm not going to say it too many more times. And uh, all proceeds are going to go to Haunters Against Hate. This is sponsored by Carolina Fear Fest, which is next weekend. Holy shit, it is. Memorial Day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's going to be a great time. But before that, the charity script read, May 17th, 7 o'clock Eastern time. Donation link is also in the description. This is brought to you by the Scene Snobs. You know, the family over there. You guys know who they are. It's going to be a grand time. You guys are going to tune in for that. You guys are going to want to tune in for that and have a great, great, great time with us. See, I I think... Oh, here's box office. Maybe they'll show it. Peter, what's good, my man? How's it going? And I hope and pray that your knee gets that shit. It's pissing me off, man. Because I'm a huge, huge fan of you. I love what you do, bro. I love you. Get well soon. Get healthy. Get back on the grind once you're healthy. Get healthy first, though. It's important. We need you making some awesome, amazing horror movies. It's important. You're important to the culture, Peter. Mick, what's good? How's it going? How's it going? Go check out the scene times, people. Oh, and go check out Peter Anthony Productions as well. Everywhere, the scene stops. The movie productions. Your favorite actress, Tara Reed, in this movie, but I still yeah, she, don't recommend this movie. No, well, for Mick, you you might enjoy it, Mick, because again, you 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 uh, she's one of your favorite actresses. I know it was on your list of favorites. It was her, and you said something about loving the sound of music. I believe <laughs> we'll talk about that another time, though. Of course, man. Of course, Peter. So when. On, oh my god. What happened? Someone gave this a 9 out of 10. A remarkable indie horror gem starring Tara Reid. This? Yeah. That was probably Mick. <laughs> <laughs> you hear how Mick talked about this movie? He didn't even watch it yet. He just knows she's in the movie and gave it... And what did they say? They gave it a what? A 9 out of 10. They gave it. Mick gave this movie a 9 out of 10 just because of his favorite actress. That is... Nick, I love you, bro. <laughs> but, oh my God. What? I know. I know. It, it was. Engaging story? What What story? There was nothing. There was nothing. This, oh, has to, this is a Jimmy. person that works for the movie. I, it has what about this? Remember this right here? What did you think? And I know you fucking noticed this very soon. The vampires all sounded. They all had this weird voice thing. Yeah, it, they're, they're like um, it was kind of like they tried to make a deep voice. They're like a grog really like um. It was like a. It was weird though because it was like a a whispery, trying yeah. to be creepy, trying to be stern. Trying. It was oh, so oh, much. The, it was like oh, where's the master? And I'm like, like what the fuck? Like you yeah, all had it, it. It made me think of when when um. T Pain was doing auto tune, then everybody started doing it. Yeah, it, it made me feel like that. Obviously, not auto tune, but just whatever that fuck was auto vamp. It was fucking terrible. Hashtag yeah. no auto vamp because it sucks. This was bad. Don't I'm never gonna tell you not to watch a movie. This is definitely a watch at your own risk. As far as I go, it's a definitely watch at your own risk. Yes, I gave it a negative four, but I'll never tell you to, I'll never tell you not to watch a movie because you might like it. Or you know what? Maybe you should be yeah, punished like, like we were. Like whoever oh, this person has given a nine out of ten. Oh my God. And they wrote multiple paragraphs. They broke it down like it, it's like their favorite movie or something. Something's wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't. I just don't know how, man. They're like it's a, the story. They didn't tell they're, you nothing in the beginning. They really didn't tell you anything throughout the story. They're just 
fucking looking for each other pretty much. <laughs> like yeah. that's what it is. Yo, that's exactly what it is. The vampire hunter is looking for the main vampire. The main vampire is looking for the vampire hunter. Yeah. And they eventually find each other. And I'm just like, oh my God, this should have been so much better. This could have been so much, but the budget, they probably gave most of it to the main actor, the vampire hunter. And then everybody else, you know, they brought their own vehicles. Then, um, then you got that. Then every vampire movie has a militia, some group that always tries to make a deal with the vampires. Like the vampires started. are going to let them like, though they understand the vampires thing is to kill all humans and, and rule the world, use them as food. They're, they're not going to let you go and have a little spot of the earth and control it like it's your land. They, they don't do shit. It's oh, it, it makes no this, sense. Man. Fuck this. And they mm-hmm. made the vampire killer of uh, the vampire hunter like he's the only one that can kill him. <laughs> and he was a, a just a normal dude. He's like useless. It was like a he was like a uh a, uh a, a Timu uh Timu fucking uh Van Helsing. You order yeah. him for a dollar ninety nine on Timu, and it takes six weeks to get to you. No, that's the one. No, 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 no. That that's this is worse than that. You only you get this shit for free, but you need like ninety nine friends to fucking for, sign up for it. <laughs> that's what this shit is. <laughs> that's how I feel about this fucking movie. This that's how I feel Yo, about he, this movie. That's you mentioned he, had, the he had like a strap, like use you, you hold bullets, but he had like bottles. Didn't use none. I'm going to guess it was holy water. None. No, no, no. They, he they, did later in the movie. He, there was a shotgun shells, or, or, or what? No, there was something. What the fuck was it? Was it something with no, the arrows that he's putting at the tip of the air? No, he had a pouch. He was taking the arrows out of. Oh fuck! I don't know. Then he had like a fanny pack, <laughs> like the Indiana Jones bag. He had around him. He was opening up a thing and he was pulling like crossbow arrows out of it. This was just atrocious. All the weapons didn't use nothing. They're like I said, you don't see the gunshots, but they're going around like shooting the vampires. Like, why even? Bo- they're like, if you find weapons, bring them back. Why? They don't work. What do you need a shotgun for? You don't. Only his magical crossbow works. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking crossbow. No stakes, oh, like no, no. They're like not. No one had like big giant spears, like sticks, like fucking stab them in the heart. Nothing at all. At it was, it was the saddest vampire. I think that's what pissed me off the most because I usually like vampire movies, and this is the saddest vampire movie. I ever it was seen. yo. It sucked. They should have just. Not made it vampires. They should have just made it a different creature. They should have. They shouldn't even Feels made bad. this movie. They shouldn't even made this movie. But this is usually when we spin the wheel. But I'm not spinning the wheel now. Um, I'll have the next theme up when I get back from vacation. And uh, I have a movie and stuff picked out. You'll get, you guys will see. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Because we're gonna wrap this one up soon. But uh, oh, real quick, I... there's a 1971 Bloodthirst, by the way. So I don't know if they took this from that. I wonder if it's better. You know, oh, I, know. I bet it is. I fucking hope it is. It's it, it might be a completely different movie. I mean, you know, I'm not like it, it might. This might not be a remake. Is what I mean. I don't say. know. It might be vampires. I don't know. I oh, seen the I see I seen the title. Horror I detective. Six. Fiction, 1971. Uh, it's on Tubi. Maybe I'll check it out. I'm not going to make any promises. Maybe I'll check it out and I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> but again, I'm not making any promises. But, guys, listen. I finally, finally, finally listened <laughs> to a lot of friends and family that were just saying, yo, just fucking do an online drop shipping store. So I did it. And I got a couple things there to show you, you guys really quick. I'm going to show you guys some things on here. 
via restream, and I'll show you guys the store, and then we're gonna wrap this one up. But uh, yeah, this is this is this is a cool moment. But uh, show you a couple couple of shirts real quick. And what's cool about this now, I just learned this recently, is this with the whole thing of restream. But oh, you got code. you get scanned a code. Logo. You can scan, yeah. You can scan the QR code and it'll bring you right to the shirt, which nice. brings you right to the site. And I will have one that's for the site. That's just you know what I mean for the site as well. But and then here's another one. Shout out to Mick. He did actually created these, uh, made these creations for me. But uh, here's another one. Keep it original with Sackhead Jason. You know, a little made up variation. And then, last but not least, for right now, more design, more ideas here, and you know, in horror we trust. Which I know they are smaller here, so I was ready for it. I was prepared for that. These ones will all be in black, but you have to keep it original. We got the. Uh, in horror we trust and uh it's a scary good time nice. i like that peel like the stickers peeling i like the appreciate that james appreciate that and then real quick i just want to show you guys the store real quick and then, like i said we'll talk a little bit more shit about this movie but yeah i got some pint glasses so all all the things Everything's gonna be, you know, what I mean, like if you want to stick or whatever, it's all. Every design has the same shit, like the cups and the mugs and all that stuff. That's what I'm getting at. Hoodies, same stuff. It's cool stuff. It's great stuff. You should get some of the stuff. I'm gonna get some of the stuff. You should get it too. But yeah, I'm excited for this shit, man. Finally, finally, I should have had it done a little sooner, so I could have had a shirt to bring it to the con. But I got something for that though. But uh, yeah, James, man, this movie was bad. Yes, it was. It was fucking bad. And I'll say one last positive thing about Scream that I'm definitely leaving. <laughs> we oh, should. Sure. I forgot. To, I forgot to put this crappy movie in my letterbox. I didn't do that. I got to catch up on my letterbox. I'll do that tomorrow though. But yeah, we we um, we should have probably watched Scream instead of this or a scary movie even, which is something enjoyable. But maybe another time, people listen it happens thank you for being here thank you for watching thank you for listening remember the audios drop every thursday after so this one will be dropping next thursday gonna be on a break but for youtube for those of you on youtube probably having some flashback episodes some of them won't be that far of a flashback because it'll be sterile vision and horrible search 30 kind of mixing it up throwing them out on the, st on the regular days the regular times and i'll speak for it on popcorn and pints because we're off we're off until June, so in case you've missed seeing our faces, yes, yes, we'll be off for a little bit, but we will be back uh, for popcorn and pine with Maleficent one and two, mm -hmm. and uh, it's gonna be a great time. We have a lot of shit planned for that show as well, so check us out on Popcorn and Pines. Check us out right here on Horror Research Thirty. Check out the Z Network. Make sure you guys go over to the scene sites to get, show them some love. Check out Three Geeks Podcast, by the way, too. Three Geeks. Those are my guys, by the way. And uh, Video Store Clerks. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. There's a bunch more. But um, you guys have a great night. And some of you will see at CFF. CFF? Yes, CFF. And some of you will see back when I get back on the pod. And all that good stuff. But you guys have a great night. I'll see you in your nightmares. Deuces. Peace.